Okay. Hey guys, today we're going to learn the game Paddocks. So I'm going to show you the game Paddocks. So the first thing that we have to do is set up the board. So I'll get Ebony to just go over here for a minute. So the way we set up the board is we want a five by five grid. So that means what you have to do is put in six dots down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that makes one, two, three, four, five um, blocks. And then you go six across as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you gotta fill in all the other corners. I'll cut this. Okay, so we've got two players playing today, Dylan and I. Dylan's gonna be the blue and I'm gonna be the red. So the way we play is each player takes takes it by turns and we join the two dots along the line. You're not allowed to join diagonal like that. You've got to join along the line, down or across. And the winner is the person that makes the most boxes, but it doesn't have to have your color all the way around. It just has to be a complete box. So I'll sh we'll, Dylan and I will show you how to play at the start and then we'll sort of fast forward and show you what it looks like at the end. I figure I'll do it. So you can think a bit tactically, you can go and put them down here in different places. Doesn't really matter where you go. Okay, so Dylan and I have finished the game. Ebony will show us the ball game. As you can see, I won. <laughs> and now what we're gonna do is this is where the area and the perimeter comes into it. So as you can see, we've put out the names of our, fir the first letter of our first names to indicate that we've got the squares. And so I can work out the area that S had and the other area that Dil Dylan had or D had. So Dylan had one, two, three. S had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, and because it's a 5 by 5 grid, it should add up to 25, which it does. The other thing you, you can't do is you can work out the perimeter. You might want to count how many red lines um, were put in and how many blue lines were put in, and then you're working on area and perimeter. But the main, main part of the game is to work out the area, how much area is owned by each person. And that is the game.